2022 was a great year for running shoes, but like any year, there were some flops. We're gonna talk about my top three today. Good morning, YouTube. What's up, everybody? I hope you're safe and healthy and happy and doing okay. Hi. I'm busy right now. Okay. Angle yay down. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. I tried to make this background like more festive today since it's December, Christmas time, you know, got the tree, got the fake fireplace. I'm trying to lighten the mood a little bit because today we're gonna be talking about shoes that I just really did not like in 2022. I kind of had a hard time choosing these three shoes because honestly, the shoes this year have been really good for the most part. Every year it seems like these brands are listening to their runners more and more about what they want and don't want in their running shoes. And that's really exciting to see because what matters most is your opinion. But today, like I said, we're gonna be talking about my three least favorite shoes from 2022. There are other shoes that I thought fell kind of flat this year, but in July, I made a video about shoes that wouldn't be making it to 50 miles. And a lot of those shoes are in that video. So I'll link it here if you wanna check that out at any point um, and see some other shoes that didn't really tickle my fancy, I guess you could say. One of those shoes is also in this video because I just didn't like it that much. Just because I didn't like these shoes doesn't make them bad in general, doesn't mean you won't like them, and it doesn't make the brands bad themselves. I think how we'll do this is that we'll go from bad to worse. <laughs> so the last shoe I talk about will be my least favorite. So first we'll start with the Asics Nova Blast 3. I'm probably one of the only people who will have this on a naughty list for 2022. And I might get a lot of unhappy comments about this. It's not a horrible shoe. I just really didn't get along with this midsole. It didn't provide me with what I felt like a Nova Blast is known for or has provided me in the past. And I said this in my first impressions of this shoe, and I'll link that here as well so you can check it out. But the Nova Blast 1, while unstable, was a really fun feeling ride. It was really bouncy, and for the time, there were really no other shoes like that on the market. In the Nova Blast 2, they fixed the stability slightly, they changed the upper, but the midsole felt a little less magical than it did for me in the one. Fast forward to the Nova Blast 3 and I'm just not sure what direction ASICS is really going with this. I'm not feeling any of the magic that I felt in the previous versions. I know that FF Blast Plus is a good foam, but here it just, it doesn't feel great. I'm just not inspired to wear this because it feels dead in that forefoot. It doesn't have the qualities of the previous Nova Blasts and in my opinion, there are other shoes in this category that I like a little bit better. So unfortunately, this was probably my most disappointing of 2022 because I always have high hopes for the Nova Blast when they come out. Again, Nova Blast 3, not bad, just not for me. Next up, we have the Hoka Mock Supersonic. This was a special release for Hoka in the beginning of 2022. I believe that they released this shoe to the public in March, but I got the shoe in January and it just fell all kinds of flat for me. This actually is in my video that I mentioned earlier about shoes that wouldn't be making it to 50 miles, but I just didn't like this shoe so much that I needed to put it in this video. It's crazy that I really didn't like this shoe at all, but I really liked the Mach 5 that Hoka came out with later in the year. I thought that was a big hit and everything that this supersonic shoe should have been. I didn't think this upper was very comfortable. I couldn't really get a great fit in it. For whatever reason, in this shoe, this foam feels firm. It does not feel responsive and it just feels like a flat, dead ride. This shoe is flat as a pancake. I don't feel any rocker technology. It was a slappy shoe on the pavement and I did not get this to 50 miles and really didn't want to run in it at all. But anyways, this was not a shoe that I enjoyed. I was very happy that the Mach 5 was a lot better, a much bigger improvement over this shoe when that came out. I think this shoe should have been called like the Mach Super Sadness because it made me really sad. 
I'm sorry. Now last, but certainly not least, or maybe it is least, least good, least pleasant, the Nike Pegasus 39. Come on, I mean, come on. I'm sorry, but I gotta be honest. This is, this is bad. This is not, this is not it. The upper is fine for me, but this midsole, this mid, the midsole, this midsole could not feel more dead or just plain bad to me. I understand there have been 39 versions of this shoe, some of which I have quite liked. So it's not like I'm a Pegasus hater, but all of the other Pegasi, Pegasi, Pegasuses that have come out prior to this one feel better and they are older than this shoe. Nike uses their React foam here, which I've said in many videos, I think feels different in damn near every shoe that I've tried. In some shoes, it feels great and responsive and bouncy and in other shoes like the Pegasus 39, it just feels like a pancake. It's pancake vibes. Not to mention, I barely feel the air zoom units in the forefoot and in the heel. Like I'm just not feeling anything. And it, it's a little bit harsh of a ride to be quite honest. And without a rocker technology of any kind, it just, it's like a slapping on the ground. I don't know. I did not like this shoe. I think Nike can do a lot better. I'm hopeful that the Pegasus 40 will surprise me and I won't have to do a video like this again, but. Oof, this is a miss. This is a miss for me, man. There you have it, folks. Those are my three top, three bottom, three, three least favorite shoes of 2022. Do we have any of the same shoes on our list? Do you guys also not like these shoes? Do you think I'm crazy and love one of these shoes? Love all of them, think I'm an idiot. I don't know, put it down in the comments, I wanna see. Oh, and I forgot to mention, uh, the Supersonic and the Pegasus 39 are discounted on runningwarehouse.com. So if you actually do like these shoes and you want another pair of them, now would be the time because they are discounted. I'll put the links in the description of this video still uh, so you can click those and pick up your own pair. Keep in mind, they are affiliate links with Running Warehouse. It doesn't mean much for you though. It just helps out my channel so I can keep making videos and being honest when shoes just really miss the mark in a major way. Well, everyone, that concludes this video of the worst shoes for me in 2022. If you enjoyed it, please like it down below and subscribe. And when you're done with all that, hit the notifications bell so you can find out every time I upload a new video. I just, uh, I don't, I don't get it. I have another video for you next week, but in the meantime, get out there, get on the grind, and don't forget to run like heller. See you next time. Chestnuts roasting on an open fake fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. This is embarrassing.